Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Zaire, if you didn't know, that's how it's pronounced, Zaire, Zaire, Zaire. Y'all saw the title, I'm gonna be doing a hygiene video, just putting y'all on. Cause you know, everybody needs a little bit of help sometimes. A little disclaimer, if you are trying to cover up a smell, that is something in your body, within, okay? That is a medical issue, okay? Go to the doctor, get that checked out, and then you can come back, okay, and take some of these tips. If that's not you and you just want, you know, some extra pizzazz, then you can just keep watching. So we're gonna start in the shower. We all take showers, I hope. I used to use a rag, okay, but I done upgraded y'all. I use these exfoliating gloves. You can see the material. It's a little bit rough, okay? When you first start using these, I'm gonna tell you, okay? It kind of scared me, the texture of it, because it kind of scared me, but it kind of feel good. It's like scratching the itch. These, with a bunch of the other products that I'm gonna be showing y'all, it's gonna have your skin so smooth. You're gonna have the smoothest skin in the United States. I'm trying to tell you. You can get these at Dollar General, Target, literally, maybe any place ever, for a very cheap price. This came in a pack of two. Came with a blue one and uh, a purple one. So in the shower, I like to use the Dr. Bronner's soap. Everybody and their mama know what this is, okay? Bunch of different uh, scents of these. This is just the baby soap one, cause this is uh, the, you know, basics, the go-to. But they also have a peppermint one. And I tried the peppermint one and it's, it makes you feel tingly all over. I just love that feeling. I don't know about y'all, but I love that tingly feeling. You can even use it on your little cool cat okay and it's not gonna throw off your ph balance with the baby soap one at least the unscented baby soap i know that one for sure i used the peppermint one and it didn't throw off my ph balance it was it got me all nice and tingly after i use this soap i like to go in with the coconut coffee scrub and wash y'all already know what this is y'all probably seen this too they have a lotion with the same scent you pair these two together girl what did i say Smoothest skin in the United States, okay? Smoothest skin in the United States. And you're gonna be smelling scrumbly umptious too. Who doesn't want that? This is a scrub and a body wash. It foams up so nice and it smells so good. It just fills the air in your bathroom with the warmest, most comforting smell. If you like to shower real, real hot, I put my, my hot water all the way on. I don't know about y'all, but I like to be burning in the shower. This smell compared with that feeling, girl, Oh my gosh. Now typically, if I use the coconut coffee scrub in a shower, I like to go in with the Dove exfoliating uh, body polish just on like the rough areas of my body. Like I like to um, exfoliate my armpits cause that'll help with the discoloration as well. And I like to do my elbows and my knees cause that'll help getting, getting it smooth. And it smells so good. This is the, uh, what is this? This is the pomegranate seeds and shea butter one. It smells just like pomegranate. The only con that I would say about this is the little bitty beads in there, the actual, actual exfoliant. The actual exfoliant, like they get everywhere. So that's the only con. I don't use these gloves with um this exfoliant because I feel like it's too, too rough. I take the gloves off and use my hands. Exfoliate them knees, exfoliate them elbows, exfoliate their armpit. When I get out of the shower, when I get done, you know, cleansing and everything, I like to use a couple different things. I don't always use the same thing because I'm indecisive. This is the EOS 24 hour moisture body lotion. Y'all know they got a bunch of different scents. Y'all probably are the most familiar with the vanilla cashmere. This one smells so good. Y'all, y'all probably know that. Everybody probably uses. But my new recent favorite one, I found this um at Target. This is the coconut waters one. If you like the smell of coconut, this is for you, girl. It actually smells like coconut. It's not like super watered down or it's not like a super sweet smell. It's like actual coconut. Yeah. A lot of the lotion that I be seeing, it say 24 hour on it and it don't really keep you moisturized for 24 hours, except for that shea butter, girl. And that cocoa butter, them were the only ones besides this one that will keep you moisturized for 24 hours that I have found. 
I don't know about y'all. It says seven, seven nourishing oils and butters in it. And I'm going to assume that's why it keeps you moisturized all day. You can take a shower at night, go to sleep with this on, wake up in the morning. You're still going to be smelling it. It's going to be all of your covers too. And your covers going to be smelling like it. It's just so... Ugh. This is my newfound favorite right here, the coconut water. I do still like the vanilla cashmere. In fact, I got two of these. And I got one of these. Now, if I don't use these lotions, I like to use this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. It gives you a real nice shine. And this one lasts 24 hours as well. Especially if you're real melanated for my darker skin girls. This shit. It'll have you glistening as y'all see. Y'all see the glisten, okay? Y'all see the glisten. It doesn't take a lot of this. If you use a lot, it's going to get everywhere. The only con I have with this as well is it will get everywhere if you use a lot. Literally, it's going to get all over your hands. You touch your phone, it's going to be all over your phone. It's all over my tripod right now from filming with this as y'all see this is almost gone i love this stuff with my whole life it does have a really really warm scent it does smell like cocoa if you want more of a chill but also sweet scent this is for you this will have you glowing like crazy like a glazed donut this is also another lotion i want to put y'all on this is the palmer's cocoa butter formula heals softens daily skin therapy this is good too the actual cocoa butter smell i love this it's like a sweet subtle smell but it's it's there you can smell it and another thing i got this aromatherapy lotion where did i get this from i've had this for a minute this is from bath and body works this is the vanilla and patchouli piccoli i don't know how to say that as you can see this is almost gone i like to use this when i'm going to bed this right here will have you so relaxed it's aromatherapy so of course it will but it has you so relaxed it's more of like a musky smell but it smells so good and this is the comfort one so what I'm saying, relaxed and comfortable. You go to sleep in seconds because of this right here. For my deodorant, I like to use this Dove Advanced Care Deodorant. This is the cucumber scent. I love the cucumber scent more than anything. Any of the sweet ones, the rose ones, the whatever other ones they got. I don't even know what other ones they have because I just use the cucumber scent. Because it's just a cool, fresh smell for them underarm. It's a fresher type of smell. All the other Dove scents, I've never tried them. I just know about the cucumber one because I like it fresh. If you top this off with the dry spray with the same scent, the cucumber scent, that'll have you friendly, smelling fresh all day too. It gives you a stronger smell. So if you lift your armpits, you're going to smell that shit actually. But um, with the deodorant by itself, it gives you nice, good protectant. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can go get that dry spray as well. Now this is an antiperspirant deodorant, okay? I know y'all probably heard antiperspirant deodorant is not good for your armpits. It causes this, it causes that. I've been seeing a lot of people use natural deodorants. Y'all can keep it natural deodorants, okay? me i'm gonna stick with but y'all can keep a natural deodorant which y'all must yourself we didn't got all the shower stuff out the way and the lotions out the way i want to put y'all on some smell goods a body oil body oil and this is gonna last you longer than all that perfume okay even the lotion this is willow's organic flower premium body oil and pink sugar type i got this from my local beauty supply store okay if you know what fashion world is that's where this is from if you got a fashion world near you they got all kind of good body oils i love that store i love that store my whole life this is real cute it has little flowers in it as you can see this is my favorite one pink sugar type and this is gonna last you literally all day girl you don't even have to use a lot as you can see mine is about halfway gone because i'll be running through this it's like a sugary smell for real like actually it's like a cute little floral sugary sweet smell i love it i love it with my whole life now i'm gonna put y'all on to my hair removal techniques okay a lot of people like to shave i don't like to shave because i'm lazy i recently started using this magic shaving powder it's for men actually uh like i guess for their facial hair but i use it for you know my armpits you can use it for your legs and your cootie cat even your butthole girl the booty hole but this is the powder i like to use the powder they also have a cream as well um, i like to use the powder over the cream because the cream you just have to make you have to let it sit on there for extra extra time you might have to go over it again i just use the powder and get it out of the way okay you just mix the powder with water until it's like a like a, a little bit thicker than toothpaste consistency so put it on your desired area wherever that may be whether it's the armpits the cootie cat the booty hole the legs whatever you let that sit for five to seven minutes i do seven minutes because i want it all gone girl i want it blowed and then you wipe it off with a cool rag and boom hair gone 
Me personally, I like to use the fragrant one in the gold can because the smell on the regular one, the blue can, is so strong. Literally, you can use the blue can, get in the shower, you know, wash it all good, okay? Get out, put some moisturizer that's some smell good moisturizer on it, and it's still gonna be there. It's gonna be so strong, okay? I don't like that shit. I do prefer the gold can over the blue can just because I don't like um, that strong ass smell but they do work the same it also prevents razor bumps and it helps with discoloration so this is literally where it's at now for my girlies that don't want to go you know use a powder or a cream you just want to stick to the regular way shaving that's fine as long as you use any kind of razor with five blades a lot of people like to use men's razors because they have five blades but they make women's razors with five blades too you can literally use a men's razor or a woman's razor as you can see here i got both from when i used to shave they both have five blades you know either or to each his own but make sure it has five blades it prevents razor bumps okay it gets a closer shave also a little tip okay shaving down there on your kitty cat look let me demonstrate something for y'all all right so if you're shaving and not using the powder i'm gonna demonstrate how to shave get it close as possible get it as smooth as possible going all directions rubbing left and right and rubbing up and down you're not gonna feel no no little prickly things i'm gonna show y'all this is the this is the top of the vagina okay look you put your conditioner your shaving cream whatever you use to shave just don't shave dry don't just shave with water either okay use some type of something first you're gonna shave left to right okay get the hair gone left to right make sure it's all gone to the eye then you're gonna turn you're gonna go right to left okay shave right to left all gone to the eye then you're gonna go up shave up do it gently okay because this shaving up can literally irritate it but if you're going up gently you'll be fine and then that's gonna get you the cleanest shave ever i promise you don't just shave down because if you if you're rubbing up on the top of your kitty cat you're gonna feel the little pricklies okay and if you want a smooth bald shave you're gonna want to do left to right okay right to left and then up okay while we are talking about um shaving and removing hair and all that i want to put y'all on to this coconut oil y'all probably already know what coconut oil is but do y'all use it to its fullest potential you can cook with coconut oil you can moisturize with coconut oil you can put coconut oil on your lips you can put it on your face you can put it on your skin after i do my little hair removal process i like to go in with the coconut with some coconut oil i put that on there it makes it all nice and smooth if it slips up there you know what i'm you know what i'm talking about it don't knock off your ph balance it's all natural 100 coconut oil yo this is the clover valley one but any kind of coconut oil will work as long as it's actual natural coconut oil next we're gonna get into the face girl i use african black soap 100 natural african black soap okay y'all all that african black soap with this in it and that in it and this and that and this in it take it from me take it from me i'm talking from experience okay i got this from my beauty supply store as well it's just a regular bar this is a brand new bar i ran through the other bar you can you can really use this like literally on your whole body i just use it on my face it's good with removing the dark spots and everything this has helped me so much with my skin it helped me remove all my dark spots if you're watching this and you knew me in high school even middle school uh, y'all remember what my skin looked like y'all was probably talking shit too now look at me this is where it's at i'm trying to tell you another thing i want to put y'all on is vaseline regular actual vaseline this is what i use to moisturize my face this is the cocoa butter one healing jelly with the black folks on it that's why i got it because it got the black folks on it and little did i know it was gonna work how it was working this keeps my face moisturized all good and i've also noticed it helps my face smell good too literally like cocoa butter vaseline the whole brand literally i think vaseline is slipped on so bad i'm trying to tell y'all vaseline 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 brand okay y'all get on it get on it i just want to throw in another thing this is the anti-blemish pads by noxema i use these as well on my skin they're kind of harsh like with my eyes they burn and everything and it kind of burns my face <laughs> like it makes it tingle but i like the tingly feeling i don't know about y'all if y'all do y'all need to get on this right here this has eucalyptus extract in it it really does help okay i really love this stuff it helps with breakouts if you're breaking out you put this on there it's gonna be gone the next day i promise you once again speaking from experience listen to me it also has salicylic acid salicylic acid in it and it says it's a salicylic acid acne treatment that just killed me y'all know i got a lisp if you haven't noticed i have a lisp okay i'm sorry i'm sorry don't make fun of me the next thing i want to talk about is your oral health because that's important too i hope your breath don't stink okay 
Number one, brush your teeth two times a day in the morning and before you go to bed, okay? Brushing your teeth at night is gonna help your breath not be hot and stanky in the morning. I promise you, okay? I hope y'all are flossing and scraping that tongue too. If you brush your teeth and your breath still stank, you need a tongue scraper, okay? I use the Grin um, tongue scrapers because they're disposable. I don't really think you should be scraping your tongue with the same object every single day. That kind of um, sounds dirty to me. Personally, me personally, that's just me though. It comes with 32 scrapers and you can just scrape your tongue, throw it away. Pretty simple, pretty simple. When you first start using these, you're gonna see what I mean, okay? You're gonna be scraping your tongue, you're gonna see that white stuff coming off. Look, man, I hope y'all are flossing too, okay? Again, the same brand, I use the Grin Floss. These are also disposable. It comes with 75 floss sticks. Y'all better be flossing or your teeth gonna be gone by the time you're 50. Do you wanna have dentures by the time you're 50 years old? Mouthwash, I think, me personally, I think any mouthwash really works. I see a lot of people using um, one specific mouthwash. I don't know what kind it is. I don't get it because it's expensive. I use Listerine, good old Listerine Ultra Clean. This is in a cool mint, it burns so good, okay? That's how you know it's working, if it burns. That's my logic. Next thing I wanna talk about is the vaginal health, okay? Boric acid pills. These right here, 100%. Boric acid, y'all, it'll do you so good. I promise you. If your pH balance is knocked off, pop one of these bad boys in that motherfucker and it's gonna bring it back up to a par. I promise you that. I like to use these after a period. You can use them after you hunch. If you don't like to wear a raincoat, wear a raincoat. Wrap it up, wrap it up, make that wrap it up if y'all be having sexual intercourse with men y'all know their private parts got germs and stuff that's not supposed to be up our private parts and that is gonna knock off our ph balance so when it's constantly you know up there it's gonna shove it up there up there up there this is where the boric acid comes into play i promise y'all stick one of those up there a couple hours you're gonna be back straight another thing that's gonna keep your vagina healthy and your entire body healthy literally is water drink your water I hope y'all drinking y'all water. If you say water is nasty, you're weird. I'm sorry. I don't usually call people weird because people call me weird, but you're weird if you don't drink water because what the fuck you mean is nasty. Let's take a sip together, okay? Y'all need to get on in that spring water, okay? Once you drink spring water and then you drink a purified bottle of water, you're gonna taste the difference and you're not gonna like the purified. I promise you, because that is what happened to me. I used to just grab any kind of water bottle, but once you drink one and then you drink the other, you're gonna know the difference, okay? So. Spring water is where it's at. Drink your water. This is gonna help with your skin, literally the smell of your body, the smell of your sweat, the smell of your cootie cat. Drink your water, okay? And if you're a man, drink your water too because it's gonna help the same way. Lastly, but not least, we are gonna get to um, that booty, okay? If you go number two, if you take a dump, if you drop a deuce and you're using tissue to wipe that ass, you're smearing it and your booty is crusty and I don't like you. I'm sorry. Y'all need to get on these wipes, okay? Flushable, flushable wipes. Literally, these are Equate flushable wipes. This came in a pack of four, 240 in total, okay? All you gotta do, take it, wipe it, fold it, wipe it, fold it again, wipe it until you don't see nothing on the, on the wipe. And then flush it, because they're flushable. Make sure it's unscented. You can use flushable baby wipes. Just make sure it's unscented. Literally, any kind of flushable wipes. Just don't use tissue. You can use tissue to pat dry, but don't just use tissue, because you're smearing it. Now, I just want to give y'all some tips. One, like I said, water. Drink water. You need at least, I don't know how many it is, but your body is mostly made up of water, so just drink water. What you put in your body is going to come out through smell. I promise you, eat a burger, you're gonna smell like a burger. Vitamins, 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 okay? Look, I am a hypocrite when it comes to this, okay? Collagen vitamins for smooth and even skin tone. Vitamin C, zinc, and elderberry for your immune system. A probiotic, cause that's gonna help you if you're feeling bro if you're feeling bloated. A probiotic vitamin, that's gonna help with you, I promise you. Iron if you're anemic, and magnesium for bone health, okay? All them vitamins, if you're taking all them every day, I commend you, you're doing better than me some tips for your cootie cat um along with the boric acid capsules you can eat pineapples drink cranberry juice drink pineapple juice any kind of fruit down there is gonna make it smell and taste delectable i promise y'all wipe front to back front to back front to back front to back 
front to back. If you're wiping back to front, think about it, okay? Actually, think about it. You wiping back to front, okay? Your butthole back there, okay? Germs back there. You bringing that shit up. Let's think logically, let's think. Always wear 100% cotton underwear. Don't use Summer's Eve. You can just open a bottle of Summer's Eve and smell it and tell that you're not supposed to be using it because why does it smell so strong? So yeah, that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you picked something up from it, okay? If I helped you, let me know. Talk to me in the comments, cause I wanna talk to y'all. And I'll respond back. If you like the video, give it a like. Don't be a hater. Subscribe if you wanna see more of me. Follow me on everything in my description if you wanna see more of me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye girl.